Hi, I'm Nick Federoff, and welcome to the ThingsGreen.com Botanical Gardens, where we're going to be taking a very special look at the Tinkerbell planter that you created. Whether it was a planter right off the shelf that you decorated with your own special designs, or maybe it's one that you made out of clay and you molded it. Well, now that we have it here at Color Me Mine, we got to make sure we know exactly what to put inside of it. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Plants that you can grow that you'd probably find in Pixie Hollow as we take a look at how to plant a Tinkerbell planter. This program is brought to you in part by Start Your Organic Container Garden Now with Miracle Grow Organic Choice Potting Mix and Miracle Grow Organic Choice All Purpose Plant Food. 4M Nurseries, bringing color to life at 4MNurseries.com. Information and ideas for the beginning and seasoned gardener on thingsgreen.com. Vitamins, hormones, super thrive, 400 huge specimen trees, zero loss at Disneyland. Yeah, super thrive. Tinkerbell, Miss Bell, Tink, Pixie, whatever you want to call her, her favorite flowers are silver bells, which by the way, you can actually grow in these containers. However, we're gonna do something a little bit special that we'd find in Pixie Hollow, and that would be growing edible plants. Now you gotta remember, you can't just pick a plant out of the garden and think that it's edible. Ask your local nursery or garden center expert which ones you can and you cannot eat. For instance, today we're gonna to be talking and planting mint, basil, and rosemary. We have to start off with all the ingredients that are necessary to make this thing work as best as possible. First off, we have our planter. If you got the one off of the Color Me Mine shelves, chances are it already has a hole on the bottom. And we need that for drainage so that the plant doesn't rot. And the water will go right into your saucer. Now the next thing that we're going to do, oh, by the way, if you made your own planter uh, out of the clay over here at Color Me Mine, what you're going to want to do is make sure that we drill a hole into it. We have to have at least one of those. Then what we're going to do is something kind of silly. I just told you to drill a hole, now we want to cover it up. But we're going to cover it up with either a cinder block or a piece of rock or some kind of decorative rock. And the reason why we do this is so that when we put our our organic soil inside of the container, it doesn't go anywhere. So here we're gonna put the rock right inside, right in the top of that hole. The next thing that we're gonna do is get our organic choice uh, potting soil from miracle Grow, and we're gonna take it and we're gonna put a little bit of soil just right on top. Now, we wanna squish it down and the reason why we're gonna squish it down is because we don't want that rock to go anywhere. We want it, want it to stay right in the center. Then we have to size up the plant based in our container. Your container will either come in something that looks like this, or it may be square, it may be round, it really doesn't matter. What we're concerned with is the height of the container itself. That's what we're concerned with, because we don't want to put soil in our pot any higher than the soil that comes out of this container. So we size it up and we realize, oh no, it's too low. We're going to make sure and we're going to want, we want to be certain that we're going to bury this, oh, about two inches, about one inch, I should say, below the top of this lip right here, or the top of the container. So we're going to need a little bit more soil. Now, don't be too concerned about getting things dirty. This is a messy job here, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to measure this. That's about one inch. That's the way we want it. Now, if you look at our plant, you may have roots coming out of the bottom. Don't worry about that. That's a good sign. It means you got a nice healthy plant. You can just kind of kind of take and squish the size of the containers like this, tap the bottom, and then pull it out. Now, sometimes you'll have some roots stay by. Not the end of the world here uh, because you can take and uh, uh, have some of the roots being exposed and such, and we're actually going to tear them. So if you have torn roots, not, again, it's, it's all right to do that. So we're going to kind of loosen this up a little bit so that it, the roots will eventually go out into the container and not just grow in a circle. We put this right on top like this. That's right at the exact level that we need. We place our soil all the way around here. And by the way, I don't know if you knew this or not, but did you know that 
that uh, Tinkerbell, her favorite treat are pumpkin muffins. So you may want to grow pumpkins in here. No, no, don't grow pumpkins in here. That, you need a lot of room for pumpkins. All right, so we put the soil inside and we're going to press real firm around. Don't push the plant, only the soil around it. Around it. See, so we're going to go like this and we're going to put some more soil and put this back. Now this right here is perfect. It's exactly what we want. Now, We've got ourselves a Tinkerbell plant, but before we go any further, there's a couple of things that we do need to do. First, we want to make sure that we uh, give it some nutrition. Without nutrition, you can't be nice and strong. Well, your plants have to be nice and strong as well. And here we're going to use some organic choice, uh, organic planting food. And you only want a little bit, ironically enough, only about a tablespoon. Read the directions on the container, and there you go. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do before any further because we want the container nice and dry we want to write on your container what the plant is so this one is rosemary so we'll write rosemary hopefully you have better writing than i do rosemary okay so we write rosemary on there and we're ready to rock and roll with this thing now the next thing that we want to do here is we want to water the plant. So important that the water gets inside of this plant. Now when we do so, we also want to be certain because we're, we're, uh, that the plant gets its vitamins and hormones. Without the vitamins and hormones, just like us, you know, they talk about being strong there, the plant can't be strong. So we're going to take some Super Thrive and we use just a very small amount of it per, uh, per our, our water and we'll take it and water our plants. We already put some inside. So we just water our plants like this, and we're done. It's just that simple. Now you want to take this plant and you want to put it by a window, preferably a window that doesn't have full sun coming out of it, and just take care of it and watch it grow. Then when you're ready to use it, you'll just take yourself a little bit of the leaves and you'll use it in your cooking. For instance, with your pasta and your spaghetti and your fettuccine and all those things that'll make this taste just wonderful. And the best part is you grew it yourself. Super Thrive, unique extra life, transplanting and maintenance. Impossibilities made easy. 1,800 60 to 75 year old trees dug up from grounds of 20th Century Fox Studios, stockpiled in weather for two years, replanted along city streets. The landscape architect and contractor reported not one sick or dead tree at any time. Only Super Thrive could have done this or even approached it. Super Thrive, ask for it by name at your local garden center or nursery. 4M Nurseries, bringing color to life at 4MNurseries.com. Grow your own. Start your organic container garden now. Choose a container for the plant you're going to grow. Be certain it has a drainage hole, then fill it up with miracle Grow Organic Choice Potting Mix, featuring all natural organic ingredients. Next, plant the seed or seedling, then water and feed with miracle Grow Organic Choice All-Purpose Plant Food. Use miracle Grow Organic Choice, helping you grow bigger, more beautiful plants. Tinkerbell's favorite flowers are silver bells. However, we're not going to be planting those today. We're going to be doing something a little bit different and quite edible. Do you see the fly? Her way. The plants are going to respond to all this love and this care, and you're going to be able to keep Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. That was good. Don't walk! I can hear you walking! Yeah, don't walk. Like this. Like this. Be stealth. Be like inside. So what we have to do is that we have to ward off the plant. 